Hi there, Chris here. Um, I did, I had a video that I posted when I got this Yale Scandi cylinder and said it would be a, another lock for um, this anchor lass. And this is the 844 and it does fit in there, but I, and I showed that, but I never picked it. So I thought I would pick it real quick here and clean that up because hey you know what good is it if you can't pick it right so it's a Yale Scandi cylinder and um, it's a it's only a five pinner works well um, and it came with all standard pins in it so I did put some security pins in it and I would like to try and pick it on camera. And there's two picks I use. I use this one, and I might need... Well, where is it? Where is it? A deep hook. Not that hook. Not that, not that. This, maybe this one, maybe. So, top the keyway. And then I'll gut it and, and I guess I, it was a while back, I can't quite remember what I put in there. So another thing I wanted to do uh, in 2020 is to, I've been watching, I watch Cesspass pick um, an ASA 600 twin. And it's a beautiful pick, check him out. Um, it's his last video of the year. And what I really enjoyed about it is this is about the view you get. Uh, he's in a vise, um, but I like this close-up view so you can really see what's going on. Um, also, Chaz's lock picking has a very nice close-up, and, and he has a very simple camera setup. His, his camera or his phone is on a box, but he gets... He gets great views um, of his picking and all that. So I figure I would like to improve my views a little bit. So here we go. Um, I use light tension for this. I really need to get, I've said this a million times, get my chandelier working to get overall bounce light in here. So it reduces the shadows. And it's been a while since I picked this, because that was, I don't know, 30 videos ago maybe, when I showed I got it, and that it, it could be put into that 840, or 82040, whatever that huge monster is. So what I'm looking to do set these guys and I gotta feel gotta test them and feel them and it does go into quite a deep false set before you get it And I'm not sure I'm there yet. I don't think I'm there yet. Okay, I think I'm in that deep fall set now. As, whoops, we can see. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Improved View. And so sometimes I can manage it with this Sparrows pick, and sometimes I need this SS Dev. We'll see, I'll start with the my standard pick. And I think I'm I'm one pin away, but I'm not positive. I'm gonna check everybody first. Especially up front. I think I am. Okay, I'm feeling some counter. I think it's on three. I don't think we're there. 
and it's kind of an overset and then let it drop back down for the open but if you're not all if everybody isn't all good then you're not going to get it which I just demonstrated so I'm going to reset and try again let's start at the front Okay, into my deep false set. Okay, everybody's feeling solid. Now, I feel a low pin there, and I think that's it. But you have to let off quite a bit of tension before you start getting counter rotation. Whoops. Missed it again. It's one thing to overset it and let it drop down, but it's bad to overset it and slip and hit somebody else and screw it all up, which is what I think I did. Still want fair view. The shadows bother me. I need to get two here. That's a challenging pick, but it's not as challenging as <laughs> I'm making this look. <laughs> Hopefully we're there and we can set this last pin. No, there's somebody else there. Don't seem to be managing it well. All right, who is it? Who wants it?
fourth time is not the charm. If I can rake up that faucet. Let's speed things up a little bit. I set that, but I lost somebody. I think I lost five. about the long video but I guess maybe I made it too good Let's see if I can get this quickly my mojo was waning in 2019 let's see now this is gonna give me trouble huh But this is the one I use. There we go. It's like pulling teeth getting this thing apart. I'll put Suki on that. All right, we'll shim it. And we'll try and get it done here. Now all these have a slight bevel on them. So there's the key pins. We'll start at the front here. So number one is a spool. Number two is, has two serrations on it. Three is a spool. Way down there, bud. Four is a spool. And five is standard. And there's all our springs. Anyway, that is that Yale Scandy. I should look at the pins real close. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, 
everybody have a wonderful, wonderful 2020. 2020, can you believe it? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers, my old subscribers, all you constant commenters. <laughs> and we will see you in 2020.